So, update. So this is the uh, f kind of the front edge of the garage. Well, I've changed my mind once again. We're gonna put the door, one door, 14 footer on that side, and the other door right here go this way. And that's gonna be actually perfect. We gotta maybe knock that tree in the middle right there down. And uh, that's about it. A lot less damage to the property. I like. Yeah, don't trip. We just staked it out. We're both all panting because it's kind of warm out. So this is the. Yeah, I like it too. Looks really good. So this is the back part or the front part of the property. So where the electrical and the easement is. So we actually have access if we want to the back side of the garage, which is kind of Chris's idea. I like the door would go right here. And then the other door would be where the where the bag is, the Home Depot bag. Daddy, you okay? Yeah. So this looks more level. I like a lot. Yeah, me too. A lot easier to work. There would be the door over here. I'll get a knife. And then uh, drive out this way. And uh, that tree over here probably has to go, but that's the only thing that has to bite the bullet right there. And some trimming over here, maybe. All right, so this, this looks a lot, lot better. A lot less carnage out here. So, all right, I'm gonna go get a knife from the uh, truck and cut the string. Here we go. So that's the garage, door right there. Come out over here to the left driveway. And now we're looking straight up the driveway through those trees, which are going to come and go. And then the house is over there. That hadn't changed. So, rerouting. Hopefully everything will fit. And then uh, walk up the driveway. There's my truck out there. Straight shot. Yay. So we pan over here, and there, right there, is the house garage. And this is the big driveway area. <laughs> all right. Overflow parking. Overflow parking. For big parties. For big parties, right there. All you crazy people can park there. Cool. I like it. <laughs>